The story at six, a troubled project in downtown Green Bay could soon get new life. The city council will vote on a buyout plan tomorrow night, transferring ownership of the Watermark property from one developer to another, clearing the way for possibly more development. NBC26's Alex Hagan is live in Green Bay tonight with the latest. Alex? Stacey, good evening. If approved, a pair of lacrosse developers would take sole ownership of this old Yonkers department store here in downtown Green Bay. And if approved, they would provide improved property tax revenue and infrastructure. Downtown Green Bay has become the home of the coming soon sign with numerous developments. But as revitalization continues, this has been a more challenging piece. One piece of property along the banks of the Fox River isn't following suit. It's been a troubled property for a long time. A developer acquired the Watermark property in 2007, bringing in Hagemeister Park, the Children's Museum, and one tenant in the office building, C.H. Robinson. But since that time, the main investor, the main developer, is uh, just run out of capital and energy, and so it's not going anywhere. But here comes a pair of developers to possibly move the project forward. The city has invested more than six million dollars into the project. Right now, the property brings in about one hundred and forty-five thousand dollars in property taxes. With the new developer, um, we're confident that we can get that number up to one hundred eighty thousand dollars per year. And if city council approves this, it could get the ball rolling on even more development in the downtown area. Having uh, retail, perhaps restaurants, uh, cafe, uh, coffee shops, and the lower level, and then more business above. Joining the rest of the success stories in the heart of Titletown. Now, I talked to uh, the city council president, Tom Duane, this evening. He tells me he doesn't expect there to be any issues with the buyout plan at city council tomorrow night. He also tells me that they should approve it at the city council meeting as well. Reporting live tonight in downtown Green Bay, I'm Alex Hagan with NBC26.